Well, uh, good afternoon and welcome to Northern Maine Productions. Uh, we're in my dooryard. This dirt pad here is where my garage used to stand. Um, we finally got this place all cleaned up today. What a mess it was, but so everything is pretty well going. A um, friend of mine came and hauled those walls that were wall sections that were piled up up back there. He came earlier today with his loader truck and hauled them away. There's still a little pile of junk up there that needs to be go, but so now I guess. I'm gonna get some, I guess I'm gonna get some gravel hauled in here. Level this off a little bit. This area right in here, right behind the garage is kinda low. So, I'm gonna try to bring this up just a little bit. I don't wanna get too carried away here cause this friggin' ground around here is just crooked as can be. Ain't no sense in getting I guess there ain't no sense in getting too carried away, but yes, uh, this was a major accomplishment to get rid of this old building. Uh, amazingly, uh, last night I pulled these, these are the pressure treated uh, sills that were underneath the walls of the garage and amazingly, they're in excellent condition. Uh, I can't say the same for the 2x4 wall studs, the wall framing that was mounted on the top of them, they pretty well disintegrated. Uh, I poured some crushed gravel in under here 10 years ago when I jacked the building up. and These were actually setting on top of the ground when I let the garage back down, but I, you know, obviously over time it settled. This ground's a little bit wet right here, especially in the spring of the year, so over time it, it settled in a little bit. These were down just underground, these sills here, they were um, obviously the moisture and uh, dirt and debris was starting to filter into the under the two by fours and the framing two by fours did not withstand that at all. And obviously the roof was leaking on that building too and it was losing moisture down through the walls and the plates were always wet. So things didn't last too well. Um, got a big rock here that we gotta try to deal with or fill in I guess and cover up. And this is my portable garage right now. This has got all my valuable stuff in it. This old snowmobile trailer. Works good enough for that. Um, you know, somebody said the other day, geez, you leave your toolbox right outdoors. Well, it ain't got, it's just got a bunch of old Chinese garbage tools in it, so it ain't hurting nothing. It rode around all last winter on the back of my pickup, so yeah. There's nothing in there that's very valuable. I don't really like leaving my lawnmowers outdoors either, but right at the moment, I've got no choice. The other snapper, the eight horsepower machine that was painted up pretty nice is inside that trailer. I've run that a couple of times this summer, but Basically, that machine is pretty well retired. Motor's pretty well worn out on it, so. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started here on this. Gosh, I gotta get something rigged up here and get this underground cable hooked up to it. The power's actually shut off to that and down in the basement of the house right now, but. That's a pretty old cable and I really don't want it getting flexed and bent around a whole lot. So I'm still planning on using it for at least a little while until I get 
get the building all built and figure out what I'm going to have in there. I'd like to have some 220 power in this building when I get it built, but for now, I'd be happy just to have a building with some lights in it. Well, I guess that's the update. The old garage is gone and I'm not one bit sad. That thing was a piece of crap. I've dealt with that thing for, my mother and father lived here from 1976 to 2002 and it was a piece of garbage for most of that time. Uh, they sold the house in 2002 and I get, ended up coming back here and I bought the house back into the family in 2014 and the garage was still a piece of garbage. I fixed it up the best I could, but uh, no, I've had it. I totally had it. The roof was gone. The wall sill plates were gone again and uh, I just am not ready to, I wasn't ready to try to rebuild that old piece of garbage again, so. And I was pretty disappointed in the dirt floor. I'm gonna build, probably some of you are wondering what I'm gonna do here. I, I had thought about pouring a concrete floor and building a proper car garage, but I don't really ever put my vehicles in the garage. That's what I drive for vehicles. It's just an old beater. Um, I'd be happy just to have, I'm going to build a 12 by 16 shed. It's going to have a wooden floor in it and it's going to be up off the ground ways. So that's what it's going to be. Uh, I'm done with, uh, I'm just done with this dirt floor. It ain't happening. So anyways, uh, I guess I'm going to let you guys go. Have a very good evening. Bye-bye.